In this video, I want to show you my demo retirement portfolio that has four ETFs in it. That's it. Four simple ETFs make up this entire portfolio. And I think that this is an incredibly diversified way to invest in the equities markets. And so in this video, I'm going to break down for you what those four ETFs are. I'm going to explain my reasoning on why I built the portfolio using those four ETFs, including what percentage of the total portfolio to allocate to each one. And I'll show you what the results are looking like so far. So let's start with the overall results over the last year. You can see that the portfolio is up 15%. Now, if we compare that to the total US stock market, that is up 22, almost 23% over the same time period. The total Canadian markets, however, are only up 3.23% over that same time period. And so this strategy is kind of splitting the difference, but let me show you why the results look this way. For starters, what are the four ETFs in the portfolio? Well, I've got XUU, and that is one of the Canadian listed versions of the total US stock market. So this ETF I love because it tracks the entire US stock market. It only costs about $48 per share. And my target allocation for this in the portfolio is actually 50%. I want half of the portfolio to be allocated to XUU. And like we just saw, this ETF, which tracks the total US stock market, is up almost 23% on the year. And the reason why I really like this product and I'm allocating half of the total portfolio to it is for starters, the total US stock market is traditionally the best performing asset class in the world pretty much. And so any serious portfolio should have a large allocation to that. Also, the number of underlying holdings in the ETF is 2,640. So that means for every single share of XUU that you own, you own tiny fractional amounts of over 2,600 different companies listed in the US. And so this is the linchpin of the portfolio and it has been performing very well. And in fact, in the account today, I'm gonna go ahead and buy eight more shares of XUU at the current market price. So let's confirm that order. Okay, the next largest position in the ETF is VCN, which tracks the total Canadian stock market. And like I said, this one has not been performing as well this year. It's only up 3.3% on the year. And so this is one of the main reasons why this retirement portfolio has been underperforming if I had just put 100% of my money into the total US stock market. However, I do still like having this in the portfolio for the extra diversification. And the reason being is that the Canadian stock market has a lot of different companies and industries that are weighted in different ways than the US stock market. So for example, we have more energy, we have have a lot of natural resources. We've got a bunch of mining companies listed in Canada. And depending on how those industries and sectors do, this index is going to perform better at certain points in time than the US market. And so that's why I'm trying to allocate a decent percentage of the portfolio to the Canadian markets. The target allocation for this one is somewhere between 20 and 25%. And for every share of VCN that I own in the portfolio, which currently costs about $42 per share, I own a fractional amounts of 172 different companies. So in the portfolio today, I'm gonna to go ahead and buy three additional shares. Okay, let's move now to the third largest position in this all ETF retirement portfolio, which is ticker symbol VIU. And this ETF tracks developed international markets, excluding North America. So mainly we're talking here about Europe, some parts of Asia, and also Australia. Now the performance of the total international stock markets, developed markets anyways, over the last year is slightly better than Canadian markets, but still much worse than US markets, coming in at around four and a half percent. The total allocation of the portfolio towards this ETF is somewhere between 15 and 20%. And this one is really great for diversification because it gives you access to 3,000 841 different companies listed on stock market exchanges all around the world. The vast majority of these companies are large at over 70%. And if we look at the regional breakdown, you can see that the largest countries represented in this ETF include Japan, the UK, France, Switzerland, Australia, Germany, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and buy four shares of VIU for the portfolio today. And the final ETF that I hold within this demo retirement portfolio is actually a cryptocurrency ETF that tracks the price of both Bitcoin and Ethereum. It's allocated 70% towards Bitcoin and 30% towards Ethereum. And if we look at the performance of this ETF over the past year, it's up 82%, over 82%. And that is precisely why I include this in my portfolio is because in good years, it can really boost the growth of the portfolio. Of course, in bad years, it can have a drag on the portfolio. For example, from 2021 to the bottom in July 2022, 
was a very bad time to hold this ETF. However, I am a fan of having a small allocation included towards this sector, and my target for this is between five and 10%. So I'm actually not gonna buy any new shares of it today, and that's obviously because over the last year, it's had a serious run up. So if we are assessing this portfolio holistically then, we've got the cryptocurrency ETF, which was around 5% allocation, has practically doubled and it is now nearing a 10% allocation. Then we've got the total US stock market, which is up solidly almost 23%. And then we have the Canadian markets and the international markets, which are actually a drag on the portfolio right now. However, that's the whole point of having this type of diversification. Obviously, if I had put all my money into the ETC ETF, that would have yielded really good returns, but the type of volatility that you see with that type of investing is not something you want in a retirement portfolio. And even going all in specifically on the total US stock market is increasing your risk because you are geographically exposed to only one region, even if some of the largest and most profitable companies in the world are listed in the US. So that is the overall strategy with this retirement portfolio here. It's only four ETFs and the goal is to just keep dollar cost averaging into these positions over time at approximately those allocation percentages that I mentioned. So I'll continue bringing you updates on this portfolio over time so that we can see how it actually performs and compare it to the total stock market benchmarks. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you found this video interesting and please always remember to do your own research. This is not financial advice. This is just for entertainment and educational purposes. Thanks for watching and have a great day.